guys, it's Zypher here with a new Let's Play. Guys, today we are going to be doing a Pokemon Moon Randomizer. Now you guys are probably like, what? Already? Dude, didn't you just do a Shiny Lock? Yes, I did just do a Shiny Lock, and um, I'm jumping straight into a Pokemon Moon Randomizer. Now this Randomizer is going to be a bit different than my normal Randomizer, or what I did with the Alpha Sapphire one. Um, and this one, all Pokemon are randomized. The starter is randomized, um, all moves are randomized, all level up moves are randomized, so when I level up, um, I have a 70% chance of learning a move in the same type, so, like, I can, I have a 70% 70, 70 chance to learn a stab move, but it's going to be a move that it cannot normally learn through level up, so if, like, say, you get Squirtle and it learns Water Gun, it cannot learn Water Gun. It's going to learn a different Water Move in that place. Which I think is really cool, by the way. Now, here's the thing. Um, I have no idea what Pokemon are on what route. I literally went through the whole randomization process and pressed randomize like 15 times. Because I was like, I don't want to just go press it once and I'm done. Like, I wanted the best randomization I could possibly get. So we've got like 15 different choices for randomization here. Um, I have no idea what I'm getting. I don't know what's on what route, blah, 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 blah. Now, rules of the Nuzlocke. Same rules that generally apply, you know, rule number one, you must nickname your Pokemon in order to become more um, close to it because, you know, we're all with that lovey-dovey stuff. Uh, rule number two, you must catch the first Pokemon on every single route. If you fail to catch it, then, uh, well, you don't get that encounter for that route. And, uh, the dupes clause will be in here, because I don't know if I'm gonna be running into the same Pokemon or not. So, we're gonna leave that in, uh, strictly for just safety standpoint. You know, we're gonna leave that in. Um, next one, if your Pokemon dies, it's dead for good. No revives, no, hey, we're gonna bring you back to life, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, next rule, if if your Pokemon is a trade evolution, I have I am allowed to use my other 3DS to trade it over and evolve it that way. Um, that is the only reason I'm allowed to go online with this 3DS is to make sure that the trade evolutions can be evolved, and um, they have to be. If I catch it under level 40 then I have to wait until level 40 for it to be evolved. If I catch it after level 40, I can evolve it immediately. So, I'm, I'm putting that rule in place. It has to be level 40 in order for it to happen. Now, the biggest part of this Let's Play, it belongs to you guys. I randomized the starters too. I need you guys to please, please help me in picking my starter. There is a poll card or something, it's like in the top right corner of this video. Go ahead and click on that. It's going to let me know what you guys are going to help pick for me. So we're going to do this. The three starters are Marshadow, Brion, and Cascoon. So please, go ahead and pick the starter for me. It would be greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the randomizer. Peace and take care.